why. Fascinating. Well, it's hard to make out in the rain, but it looks like there's a boat trying to get to the island. I'm not interested in that. Okay, I'm interested in this right now. I was over there and I was thinking, can you answer something? How do I protect you when my life has already touched you? I'm the editor-in-chief who's current occupation is delivering meal trays at General Hospital. Mm -hmm. And neither you nor your job had anything to do with that. That little journey started with my own stupidity, Sonny, and crossed paths with the man who would hate you no matter what you did. You can't protect me. Because I'm as emotionally involved with you as I've ever been, and more so by the fact that we're not kids anymore. But I can walk away. I'm very good at it. And I will if you insist on shutting me out for my own good. Be careful what you ask for because you got to understand what my life is about and what has happened to some of the people that I care about. It can be a pretty rough ride. I hope it's worth the ride. Come on. I'm not the guy that pinned the DA to the wall with the sword. You got the wrong. You think I would expect you to admit that you did it, huh? This is exactly the kind of stunt that a whack job like you would pull. I'm not the whack job my father is. He's in this house, and if I don't stop him, people are going to start dying. Nice. Jack was most relieved to see the blonde one's beauty and life <laughs> in, intact. Um, I, he was worried to the point of painful concern. Well, you're such a good friend, but I wasn't in any danger immediate Look, anyway. May I respectfully submit that you got lucky? And luck can sometimes wear out, so please, please, for the, the remainder of our time here on Doom Island, don't dance with any phantom strangers. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that this phantom wasn't much of a stranger? Okay, remember everybody, killers don't generally wear sandwich boards, so be aware, he or she could be anywhere on the island, including in this room. That's a scary thought. Well, don't panic. We'll all be safe if we stay here together, strength in numbers and all that, huh? Sakara. Well, not much. I never met him. I mean, the word is bad news. 
Ruth was really bad news. So anybody who comes across him would be very smart to give he and his son a wide berth. Um, would you recognize him if you saw him? I mean, from pictures or newscasts or something? Why are you asking this? Who is it? It's Jack! Shoot any innocent people since the last time I saw you? What was that all about? Curly is a nutcase. I walked in on her holding Coop at gunpoint. What? Why? Yeah, she's convinced that Coop killed her nanny, Letitia, so her brilliant solution was to kill Coop, too. If I hadn't walked in, she would have shot him. Are you a little concerned? No, Georgie. I told you I walked in before she could shoot Coop. It no. was really close, though. <sighs> concerned that Carly might be right. About Coop killing Letitia? That is ridiculous. I know Carly may be a little unorthodox, but you cannot fault her on her instincts. No, no, I don't care what Carly says, or you for that matter. I know Coop better than anyone, and he did not kill Letitia. He doesn't have it in him. For everyone's sake, I hope you're right. <sighs> Can I speak to you for a minute? This is about your affair with Lucky, Sam, or the, the fight that you just provoked with Elizabeth. I'm not really interested in anything you have to say. I, I am very sorry about that, but I, I, I get that you're not a supporter of my relationship with Lucky. No, I'm not a fan of yours anymore. Maybe we can put our differences aside just for a second so we can discuss the maniac that's loose in your house. Do you know everyone that Nicholas invited tonight? I don't mean... I, I think so. Okay, well, what about that guy in the corner? What guy? A man's been stabbed, and you're wandering around here? That's a little too coincidental. I'm for not me. the enemy here. My yeah, father was. I know. You keep saying that, but why should I believe you, huh? I don't have time for this. I gotta go stop. The only place you're going is back to the ballroom for a little Q and A. All right? Uh, uh, this is silly. I'm not sick. Oh, you almost passed out. I just, I had a moment. I'm fine now. I don't need the two of you hovering over me. You go check on Rick. Yeah, of course. I don't need you hovering solo either. Robin, you almost fainted. Yeah, I know. I heard you the first time. And I'm not pregnant, if that's what you're so worried about. Well, I am worried about you, like it or not. I'm sorry I snapped. It's okay. It's been an edgy night. What happened? I honestly don't know. I... I saw Rick's blood on my mask and I thought it was mine. I know, it's weird. I just... I felt like something had happened to me or maybe... something is about to. How's Rick, really? Well, the, the sword hit an archery, so without some kind of medical intervention, I, I don't see how we're gonna stop the bleeding. No, no, no. <laughs> Mm. Oh, Mo Molly. Molly's fine. She's at home. She's safe. Oh. I don't want her to be afraid. She's fine. All right. Drink this, and hopefully it'll numb the pain. Here, can you do it? There. Oh. Oh, this is definitely not how I wanted to spend my hand. Everything's fine. You're a terrible liar when you're scared. 